All right, welcome back to our Azure VMware Solution Technical Overview Series. In this module, we're going to talk about basic management and operations uh, within the AVS Private Cloud. So AVS brings to Azure familiar and consistent VMware tools and technologies, um, giving your admins operational consistency. They can continue to use uh, the same endpoint management tools uh, they're used to, including the vSphere Client and SXT Manager, to manage the resources that get deployed within AVS. Um, access to these components are enabled during the Private Cloud provisioning process. Uh, once the private cloud has been provisioned, there will be a um, configuration pane where you can access the URL and cloud admin credentials for vSphere and admin credentials for NSXT all right through the Azure GUI. We also integrate the private cloud with the Azure portal so we can surface some things through the portal directly. Uh, we can easily scale infrastructure through the Azure portal. You can add and delete hosts to scale compute and storage. We can add and delete clusters as required based on demand or use cases. We can perform common administrative tasks that require elevated privileges um, through a collection of PowerShell commandlets serviced in the Azure portal as run commands. We can use those to manage external identity sources, uh, manage users and groups for that cloud admin role, uh, edit and apply storage policies, and set up and configure some third-party uh, software packages. We also have placement policies. Uh, we can create and manage DRS rules, including VM to VM affinity and anti-affinity, and VM to host affinity and anti-affinity rules, all through the Azure portal. Your on-premises and cloud environments may have their own identity management providers in different domains. Uh, by default, the private cloud will be provisioned with a cloud admin user and role, and that is the highest level of privileges available to the end user. This is a restricted set of permissions. This does not have permissions to uh, certain host settings, certain uh, configuration elements that might break AVS. Uh, the full admin access is reserved for Microsoft. We can integrate with an existing on-prem or AVS-based AD identity source by using those run commands in the Azure portal to, to run that configuration with temporary elevated privileges. And we can create custom vSphere roles uh, and map those to AD users and groups. So that's a quick one, but to recap, we went over the consistent interfaces used to manage resources on-prem and in AVS. We talked about portal integration for key administrative tasks. We talked about identity and access management considerations. In the next module, we'll talk about some of the other VMware solutions that are supported running on Azure VMware Solution. Thank you.